The company is looking to use those technologies and others to be more efficient in day-to-day -day operations, but probably more importantly, to enable uh, the company to uh, further the research of new drugs um, and indeed deliver innovative treatments uh, to patients around the world. Making new drugs at its fundamental is about amassing very large amounts of data, data that relates to uh, the testing of different types, different combinations of molecules. The technologies we're talking about are those that use the computing capabilities that we have today, use the ability to mix and match data, use the ability to have a programmatic exploration of those data matches to uh, identify uh, potential new drugs and uh, the company, like many others in this space, is finding that a very fruitful way of accelerating the uh, process of research and development of drugs. Frankly, it doesn't take a genius to understand that the internet significantly changed ways of doing business uh, a decade or more ago, and that has become all pervasive. And the sorts of technologies that we're talking about now, whether it's machine learning, whether it's advanced uh, artificial intelligence, whether it's uh, advanced uses of encryption like blockchain, they inevitably will change business everywhere um, in the same way as they're changing our lives. If you use Siri, if you use Alexa, you're using machine learning. It's not artificial intelligence yet, um, but it probably will be at some point. And so, um, yes, all business will change. I think the good thing, the opportunity, if you like, for the CISO is that innovation has been occurring within security. And um, if we talk about machine learning particularly and even artificial intelligence, one of the most effective applications of that type of technology that I've experienced myself in the last couple of years is where it's applied to the job of monitoring for insecurity. Why is that so powerful and so enabling in my mind? Well, if you think about what's happened to threats to security of all types of businesses over the last decade, um, you have to understand that actually the job of the CISO has changed from being one of preventing bad things happening, preventing happen, uh, uh, threats uh, being experienced, um, to one of detecting those threats and reacting very effectively, reacting quickly, reacting to limit damage. Um, and, and clearly it's the increasing um, all-pervasive connectivity that the internet provides us which has, has driven that trend. And I think it's widely accepted now, the job of the CISO is to uh, detect and respond as much as, you know, or if not more than, prevent. And since it's about detecting and responding, then the use of AI and machine learning to help you do that by allowing you to gather together all the information that says what the current state of your IT estate, what the current state of the, uh, of the security of innovative data is, collect it all together, use machine learning to detect the very early signs of insecurity. Mm -hmm.